Hi everyone and welcome to DIY with Nizo Journeys. Well, let's get into this video. For this project, you're basically gonna need some scissors, glue, rubber bands, at least two yards of burlap or your fabric of choice, crinkle shreds, a fake plant with branches and a stem, a small teddy bear, some ribbon and at least 80 diapers. You're gonna hear Zane in the back because for this voice memo, he is definitely right in my arms. <laughs> now you're gonna begin rolling the diapers and placing a rubber band on each rolled diaper. Then for the first tier or the first level, that's gonna be the smallest level, you're gonna put together at least 12 diapers into a big round cylinder. Then you're going to repeat this step with 24 diapers instead for the next tier in level. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now that you have two levels, you're gonna begin creating the third one with the same steps, but just with about 30 diapers instead of 24 or 12. I'm sure you can see Zane just sleeping and chilling and that chair, he loves that chair so much. He does so good in it. And don't mind the dogs that are running around too because I was pet sitting three dogs at the time and I already have one dog and a cat. You're just gonna measure at this point and make sure that each level is a different size than the other. You wanna have a small level, a medium sized level, and a large level. Now here's me just making sure the toilet paper roll can fit in there, seeing how many diapers I gotta take out. I think I ended up taking out one or two diapers just to make sure that the toilet paper roll fit or paper towel roll fit with the plant. So you definitely wanna test it and just make sure that those items fit in there or if you can find something else, maybe you can find a water bottle and put the water bottle in there instead or use a wine bottle to hold up all of the, the levels. You can totally do that. Just make sure that the color matches to what a tree trunk would look like. And then you can twirl the bottom of the plant stem around the wine bottle and still make it look like a tree. Now at this point, I'm just making sure that I can have uh, pieces of burlap that fit properly on the top smallest tier or level. 
and I was using the crackle or crazy glue or whatever that glue is called didn't really like just that glue so I asked my friend for her glue gun and I think personally the glue gun worked a lot better and a lot faster at sticking then you just want to make sure that at this point that the burlap or the fabric of choice is fitting properly and snug so that for the next levels everything will fit properly and snug as well now you may see that I'm struggling a little bit it's because we don't really have a table and that is because we are packing everything away because we leave in a few months to go back to the states from Italy it's been a long beautiful run Italy but it's time to go back to the states and don't worry because in the items that I told you you're gonna need I put a lot of extra wiggle room for you yeah I put a lot of extra wiggle room for you so that just in case you accidentally cut something improperly you can properly cut once more Now once again, just make sure that everything fits properly and snug. You want to make sure that it's snug and comfortably fitting the diapers. This is very important so that when you put the ribbon on, it doesn't fall off as well. And so that it doesn't start wiggling all over the place when you're traveling it. Or, you know, when it's just sitting down, you don't want it just falling off and stuff. The next step is just to start cutting out the proper sizes of the ribbon, measuring the ribbon around the different level tiers and making sure that it's just as snug as the burlap or the fabric of choice that you chose. And then you can glue gun it or just glue it on to the burlap or fabric of choice and see how it fits. Make sure that it's in the middle and it's not like a mess because I feel like mine was a little bit of a mess but this was also my first time creating this type of diaper cake. And I had a deadline and I also had a three month old that was screaming his head off. Now at this point, you're just gonna start putting that crinkly paper, that crinkle shred, right in between the burlap and the top tier. You're going to make sure that it's pretty snug in there. That's why you wanted to make sure that the burlap or the fabric of choice is very tight fitting to the diapers. Now at this level you just want to start getting that plant ready to put on top do not cut it like I did because I didn't realize that there was a wire in there I just wasn't thinking properly it didn't really cut anything but the green part and I didn't want that
Now the next step is to begin painting your paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll so that it looks like it is a <laughs> so that it looks like it is a tree trunk. I personally just used a brown and then I used some other colors just to give it some depth, which was yellow, gray, and a little bit of like auburn red. Now you can be as descriptive as you want to be with the painting. I personally just wanted to get it done because we had somewhere to go and somewhere to bring this diaper cake that was pretty last minute for me. Uh, someone asked if I could and I'm pretty creative. I like to do things that are creative so I decided hey why not let me try it. Yeah. Did I do a good job? Well it's crickets on that. But uh, I'm also on FaceTime I think with my mom. We were talking, giggling and stuff, and I was just trying new things out, putting crinkle shred at the top and seeing what it looked like with the toilet paper roll all the way down and then with it up. And I personally liked it up and then I realized that it needed to have been sticking up from the top so that I could put the beautiful little teddy bear on it. And I'll show that right here. How they looked before I added the sloth and how it looked after I added the sloth it gave it a lot better of a look and whatever teddy bear you decide just be comfortable with your decision and know that your diaper cake looks absolutely amazing thank you so much for watching thank you thank you thank you make sure to like share subscribe and comment down below anything you think we should try for DIYs see you next time